This hospital belongs to the Catholic Diocese of Umahia. The proprietor is Most Reverend Dr. Lucius Iwejiri Ugoji, the Catholic Bishop of Umahia Diocese. Um, sometime two weeks ago, Dr. Alex Oti visited this hospital to see his friend uh, who is hospitalized in the hospital for some months. So when he came, you know, as a public figure, he could not hide. You know, the people besieged him seeking for help. So seeing the crowd, he gave it back to them to organize themselves and, you know, write down their names for help. This they did, and uh, the, uh, the number came to 17, 17 patients, whose bills ranges uh, from um, 700 and uh, something thousand, some 500 and something, some 400, uh, 300 and something, uh, 50, 40, 30, 20, you know, as the case may be. And uh, eventually, um, today, it was a reality. To tell you the truth, when Dr. Alex made that statement, some of them started leaving the hospital, even without the permission of the, uh, the hospital management, believing that as long as he has said it, he, he would do it. Some of them came for a refund. Those who you know, paid something came for a refund that Dr. Alex has promised and were incapacitated waiting for this day. I was very happy last night. Um, Chief Mike Abara, you know, called me to give me the good news that Dr. Alex has uh, eventually responded. And um, I had wanted the money to be mentioned because it ran in seven digits, you know. But unfortunately, uh, the man, humble as he is, uh, never permitted that. So that's why we're here today. Some of the patients are here. You can interview them. Chief himself is here because he is the reason why we uh, gathered and the reason why this uh, charity extended to other people. So let me also use this opportunity to thank Dr. Alex immensely for uh, his generosity, uh, his humility, you know. So it's been wonderful. You recall that during the COVID, the 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 the, the the tick of the COVID uh, period that Dr. Alex uh, also made uh, generous donations to this hospital. It was massive, you know, and uh, we promised him that we're going to use it for the good of the patient um, uh, according to the intention of the donor and which the hospital did uh, freely to the patients and the patients were happy. And we were also happy that he came again. So we are calling on uh, well-meaning Abias to emulate Dr. Alex Oti. You know, the first one, we did not invite him. The second one, we did not invite him. He came on his own. And that is how we should be. So on behalf of the Bishop of Uma Hadassis, we thank Dr. Alex Oti. And on behalf of my uh, discharged patients, um, who are beneficiaries of uh, this uh, gesture. We thank Dr. Alex Oti and his team, praying that uh, God will replenish them. Dr. Alex, who, is, who has been my friend for a long time, came here and vis visited me and paid the bills of several other patients. Those who have been discharged for a very long time ago and who could not leave the hospital. They accosted him as he was going, and he graciously decided to pay their bills. We are very, very grateful here. By the time that he, Dr. Alex Soti came to the hospital, he visited, he, went, he came here to look for somebody. All of a sudden, when he was about to go, to left, leave, some of the patients were discharged, for, somehow stayed here six months, three months, four months, two weeks, three weeks. Because of the, the, there is no money to pay and go. But he, he gave instructions that they should write the names of all those people discharged that he will pay and which he has done. We are greeting him. We are telling that God will we help him to get all what he wants in this Abia state in the name of God. Okay, sir. Um, we, you know, came here to redeem the pledge made to some patients in this hospital by Dr. Alex Uti. And uh, as he explained, he was here uh, two weeks ago.
to visit a friend of his, yes. you know, who has been in the hospital. And after meeting with him, when he was about to leave, as was expected, some patients identified him and, of course, uh, besieged him. You know, and most of the patients were people who, you know, had finished taking their treatments but didn't have the resources, didn't have the money to take care of the abuse. And, uh, of course, that caught his attention and he decided to intervene to assist those people get out of the hospital, especially when most of them were already done with their treatments. And uh, that is why we are here today, to redeem the pledge he made to the hospital. And uh, as the father has explained, Father Christian has explained, some of the patients have already left the hospital because they were convinced that Dr. Alexotti was actually coming to redeem his pledge. And that is exactly what he has done today.